Hi, and welcome to CMSC 726 Machine Learning. I'm Jordan Boyd Graber, and I'm going to be the professor for this course. In this video, I'm going to talk about how the course is set up and of the technical tools that you'll need to do well in this course. Most of our programming assignments are going to be in Python, and most of the assignments for the course will be programming assignments. It will help to bring your laptop to class so that you can work on the homework assignments during class. In a little bit, I'll talk about why the course is set up in that way to encourage you to bring your laptop to class to work on homework. You'll also need to be able to prove things. So you'll need to be able to have a level of mathematical maturity so that you can make mathematical statements that you can support as being true. Beyond just being able to use Python, you need to be able to use Python to do some specific things. You'll need to be able to manipulate text files. The algorithms that we use in this course will be relatively simple. Uh, it, they will get more complex as the course goes on. One thing that will be perhaps different about this course from other courses is that we are using what's called a flipped classroom. And my responsibility will be to record lectures before class, to post them online, like you're seeing right now, and then your responsibility is to watch these videos before class time. A lot of people like the flipped classroom, including myself. I find that students are able to review the lectures ahead of time. They're able to form questions and refer back to the reading in ways that they're not able to in a regular traditional classroom. And because we're spending more time in class interacting with each other, I'm able to figure out what's going wrong with students uh, if they're getting lost on a particular concept, and I can help them out better. Uh, in a traditional classroom, I don't find out that there are problems until it's exam time, and that's too late. To find out what's going on in the course, keep track of the course web page. There will be homeworks, and there are a total of five late days that you can use with these homeworks. You can use these late days however you want. You can use them all on one assignment uh, over many assignments no questions asked. This is to make everybody's life easier. In addition to homeworks, we will have at least one, perhaps two, midterm exams. And uh, since this is a graduate course, we will also have a final project at the end of the course. If you need accommodations for religious or uh, other reasons, uh, please do let me know as soon as possible. I'm happy to make accommodations, uh, but I need to know right now uh, of any needs that you have. Please do read the syllabus. All of the details are broken down there, and uh, you can see things, for example, like the policy on late days uh, beyond the five floating late days. You can use however you want. Please do read the syllabus. Uh, most questions are answered there. Uh, I get a little cranky if you ask a question that's already covered in the syllabus. We'll be using the book Understanding Machine Learning from Theory to Algorithms. This is the first time that I've used this book. I have yet to find the perfect textbook for machine learning at the graduate level. Uh, this is the fifth time I've taught this course, and uh, this is the fourth textbook that I've used. Uh, it's still a search. It's still an ongoing project. Um, we'll also be providing other reading materials from outside of this book, uh, trying to find the best of all possible introductions to any particular topic. We'll be using Piazza to manage course communication, so please don't send emails. Piazza really is the best way to communicate in this class. This is covering all communications with the class. If you have a uh, problem with grading and you need to talk to the TA, use Piazza for that. If uh, you have a question about course material, use Piazza for that. If you're having problems with the homework, use Piazza for that. You can post anonymously. You can uh, communicate only to the instructors. Uh, use Piazza for all course communication. It will be a factor in your participation grade. Uh, so please do use Piazza for all communication. When you ask for help, try to be effective in asking for help. And so in particular, one problem that we often see, especially for programming assignments, is that people say that my backprop doesn't work, uh, something like that. And it's hard to understand what the actual problem is. And so give an example of what you're trying to do and make it a minimal, complete example. That is, someone should be able 
uh, to replicate the problem that you're seeing. Also explain what you expect to see instead. So if you have some problem, say what you think is happening and what should be happening. And sometimes what is happening is the correct thing, but there is a fundamental problem in misunderstanding. And if you don't state your assumptions, we won't be able to figure out that problem. Also explain what else you've tried. Often uh, if you give a thorough listing of all the things that you've tried, it will uh, show me or the TA that you have put in your homework as it were, and that this is a real problem. In class, I'm looking forward to getting to know more of you, uh, but I, I'd like to say a little bit more about myself. So I'm an associate professor at the University of Maryland. I just rejoined the University of Maryland after being here for four years and taking a short break to be at the University of Colorado to be near my family. I was born in Colorado and that's where most of my family are now. Although I didn't really grow up in Colorado, I grew up in a small town in Iowa called Keokuk, and I, I consider that to be my hometown even though I don't have any family there anymore. I went to a boarding school in Arkansas, I did my undergrad in California, and I went to grad school on the East Coast in New Jersey. Uh, in between, I, I worked some brief jobs in New York and in Berlin, and my research is mostly on machine learning as applied to natural language processing. So in the course you'll see a lot of examples that are language-based. I realize that not everybody is excited about uh, natural language processing as I am, so I'm really looking forward uh, to seeing your diverse uh, applications of machine learning to the things that you care about. One thing that often causes problems is my name, so you'll notice that my UMD directory ID is uh, YING. Uh, that actually comes uh, from my wife, that's my wife's family name. Um, so if you see something from Ying, uh, that, that's me. Um, I did that because I really don't like uh, my last name, Boyd Graber. Uh, there are some very obvious ways to make fun of my name uh, that I'm sure that you can think of. I prefer to go by Jordan, so, so please do call me Jordan. Uh, if you insist on being formal, it's okay to call me Professor Jordan, that, that's fine too. Um, but I really do prefer just Jordan. Uh, JBG is also fine, that's my Uniax username. So that's all I had for this video. Again, welcome to the course. I hope that you'll uh, continue watching at least the next video in the series. That will cover the introduction to machine learning and introduce a lot of the concepts in the course. Don't be put off by the University of Colorado logo uh, at the bottom of the screen. I am going to reuse some of the lectures from the beginning of the course, but as we get uh, later in the course, I'll be developing new videos, particularly in the areas where I'm increasing the amount of coverage uh, in the course. Uh, this is in deep learning and sequence models, things like that. Uh, I'll be creating new University of Maryland branded videos to cover those. Uh, you'll also notice that in the videos uh, there is someone else talking to me. This is a uh, former student in the course uh, who is now uh, a professor elsewhere, uh, so he did very well for himself. Uh, and you'll, you'll hear various voices. These are people who have taken the course in the past. As I develop new videos, I'll ask some of you to join me uh, in, in making uh, these lectures uh, that will then be posted on the web. So thank you again for uh, watching these videos, and I'll see you in class, and I'm looking forward to meeting you in person.